Hi, I'm back. That's right, I'm Teresa Irigaz. You may remember me from my audition video for season 12. Well, I'm back again to try for season 13. And this time I did get to go to the live um, casting call, so that was so much fun. And I just really enjoyed meeting everybody, including Courtney Crozier and Brittany Averly. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself. Of course, my name is Teresa Irigaz. I'm 36 years old. I am currently 238.6 pounds. When I started my journey in April, I was 267.8. So obviously, I have started losing weight, and I'm really proud of myself. I live in Morrow, Georgia, which is just south of downtown Atlanta. I live with my husband, Jamel and my son Anthony and I also have two stepchildren Madison who's just turned seven and John who will be 16 in December so I'm going to take you on a little trip to have a little tour of my life and I hope you enjoy it all right The fam at Chick fil A. Ha 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 ha. That's my lovely husband, Jamel. Are oh, you doing video? Yes, I am. I can do video, but I'm not doing it right now. Hi, Anthony. I have to switch it to video. Madison. This is my mom, Sandy. And my dad, John. Now, Anthony, you want to. Hello. We're at Chick Fil A, the best chicken sandwiches ever. Um, we are in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. I think this is actually Mooresville, North Carolina. We're here to drop off Anthony with my mom and dad. He'll be here, you know, spending time with them in Virginia for a month. So me and Jamel and Madison will be heading back to Atlanta today. It's just a whirlwind tour here. We're just having our lunch. Of course, I got the fruit instead of the fries. So, this is awesome. Hi, I'm going to talk a little bit about temptation. Um, well, I got rid of, you know, all the junk food in our house back in April when I started my weight loss journey. Well, my husband brought home a little something. Oh, yeah. These are one of my biggest temptations, little Debbie snacks. I love them, and I've been fighting against eating these things, but just for, you know, to be on camera, I will, I will show you. I have one right here, so, okay, good stuff, look at that cream inside, mmm, mmm. pretty good this is why I can't buy these because I will eat them I will eat them all so no more buying these thank you yummy having a little ice cream break Sometimes you just have to treat yourself. <laughs> Yummy. Uh oh. <laughs> Currently, my occupation is stay at home mom. And you know, before that, I was a fairly successful administrative assistant working for a couple of different companies, you know the first company five years, this past company about four years. Unfortunately with the economy I was laid off and you know I thought it would be really easy just to get back in there you know find another job. I took that first year um, off just to basically enjoy my family and be there for them. We took some trips as a family. I had a really good time. 
but now it's just really hard to get another job. Fortunately, I have a wonderful husband who works sometimes 16 hour days in the harsh conditions. He works for the railroad company and he's doing this, busting his back just so that he can provide for his family. And I just am complete and in, in, you know, awe of him for that. And I love him so much. And I just, sometimes I feel really guilty that I'm not contributing more to the family. I mean, I know being a mom and just, you know, taking care of the home is not an easy job. But sometimes I just feel really guilty that I have nothing financially to offer. You know, up until a couple months ago, I was getting unemployment, and so that was helping out. But now it's really, really a struggle. And I know my husband doesn't probably want me to share this, but sometimes we just aren't making it. It's been the grace of God that we've been able to, you know, at least pay the bills every month. So I'm very thankful for that. And I just, you know, besides, of course, the health benefits and just my natural competition, my con uh, competitive spirit, you know, of course I want to win the show, but we could really use the money. And I'm just hoping that God will give me this blessing. And I just really am ready to be on the ranch. Hello. Um, good morning. I'm on my way to do my daily little routine for my Monday through Friday. I help out my friend Natalie by uh, picking up my niece and nephew and her. In the mornings, I take the, the kids to daycare and Natalie to work, and then of course I pick them up again in the evening. I uh, just, you know, part of helping out a friend. And uh, my son Anthony is videotaping me right now and laughing, and I don't know why. So, um, anyway, like I said, I just, you know, I like to help out people, and Natalie is a great friend and we help each other out. She will buy me groceries a lot of times and she helps me out with gas. And of course I help her out with transportation and anything I can. Sometimes I babysit the kids and you'll see the kids in a little bit. You now my niece and nephew, Ariana and Randy. So you'll see them in a little bit and that's it. Hey guys, I got you on video. Say hi. 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 <laughs> that's Randy. He's three years old, but how old are you going to be September 22nd? Four. That's right. Ariana, how old are you? Can you get your fingers? Two. <laughs> Very good. Very good. And what are you guys going to do today? You going to Aunt B's? <laughs> We could have recorded a second time too. Anything, right? True. That way, I do a little introduction though. <laughs> okay. Here I am at my volunteer job at church. This is Tamara Dixon. She's our beautiful music director, mm -hmm. and we work a lot together. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to see is us going through the songs, working out the different voice parts, so that we can teach the vocalists. There you go. Hey, how awesome is he?
part of that cookie. That's right. Show us how good that is. When I get back to the house, the enemies donuts, they're all mine. Here it is, folks. Yum. Caramel frappuccino, but I got the light version. Don't push the buttons, just hold on. Don't put your finger in front of the uh, lens. Yeah, okay. So here I am in all my glory. <laughs> in the bathing suit, again. All right. Kids are out there having fun. Let me... Uh... Okay. Three, uh... my friend Natalie, my line buddy. We got Jeremy, Missy. We got Kristen over here. Say hello. And now let's see. We saw the beginning of the line. Woo! Let's see how far it goes down. Alright. Hello. Woo! Biggest lizard! <laughs> And I'm just waiting in line. They're starting to let people in. So I'm getting really excited. And I can't wait. Hope I say all the right answers. But anyway, so I'll fill you in later. We're getting close. We're at the front door, people. <laughs> hey guys, are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Series, don't hit me. I'm not gonna hit you. The ball might. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that is like really high. Yeah. I think it knocked your toe. Oh, never mind. You don't have this. Anymore. I couldn't do this. I'm all about the baseball stuff. <laughs> doing this for the first time in like 10 years although I forgot to take my rings off ow can you see that owie I think it's gonna be a blood blister oh well <laughs> when I was at the live casting call this past weekend um Brittany Aberly who was interviewing us asked us just you know one question why now with all the seasons of The Biggest Loser that have aired so far, um, you know, each season you're watching and you feel that inspiration, why now? What is motivating you to lose weight right now? Well, in the interview, 
I, you know, I wanted to get across that, you know, I didn't just come to this at the spur of the moment and decide, oh, you know, I think I'll lose weight today. You know, this has been kind of, you know, a process my whole life. You know, I've been trying to lose weight. And, you know, each season I'd watch The Biggest Loser, it would really inspire me. And I'd be sitting on the couch eating junk food and thinking, wow, this is really inspiring. You know, I should really do something. But this past season, season 11, just it really hit home. You know, it's just it was one of the more inspiring seasons, probably the best one I've seen yet. I really connected with, you know, the women on the show. And I just came to a place in my mind, finally, that I said to myself, this is the time. I've got to do this. And hearing Courtney on the show telling us that we don't need the show to start losing weight. You know, she lost over 100 pounds before she even got on the show. And she said, you know, you can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. And you know what? She's right. We can. I can. And so in April... I had applied to be on season 12, so I was already kind of in the swing of things and in that mode and motivated. I decided to go ahead and start my journey. So I started at 268 point, I'm sorry, 267.8 pounds and at size 22. And as of now, I'm 238.6 pounds and a size 18. I'm exercising. I I mean just this past even on my vacation a couple of weeks ago, I walked about 20 miles for the week and I inspired my family members to walk along with me. So that was really exciting for me and my whole family's behind me and cheering me on, all my friends, and through the process of auditioning for season 12, I met all kinds of wonderful people on Twitter who are also trying to get on The Biggest Loser and trying to lose weight and get healthy. And we've been inspiring each other and really encouraging each other. And we're kind of, you know, holding each other accountable. We keep track of how much exercise we do every day. And I, I keep a, a food journal. Um, see? You probably can't see that, but I keep a food journal of everything I eat every day and the exercise that I'm doing so that I can hold myself accountable and go back and look and see, you know, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? And so I'm already hyped up and ready to lose weight. I'm in that mindset. I know that this is the time. I'm ready now. I wasn't ready before. Before I just felt sorry for myself and was like, I'm too big, too heavy. Exercising really hurts and I don't have time to do it. There's just, I'm too busy and I just basically had given up. But now my whole mindset has changed. And Courtney has said before, it's in your mind. You have to ch change your mind first. And I have. And I'm ready now and I'm really serious about this. And I don't think you should try to get on the ranch unless you're really serious because I've seen the show enough to know that it's it's not easy. It's not a, just a little simple game. This is real life and this is a major change to make. And you can't just go into working out six to eight hours a day coming from nothing and think that you're gonna, you know, ooh, I just think I'll do this one day and you'll be ready. But no, you have to really truly be honest with yourself. And I am. I'm ready now. This is my time. You know, number 13 is my lucky number. And I'm ready to do this. So please give me a chance.